maybe a little closer down the stretch than you guys probably want it to be, but able to pull out the one say about this team that you guys are able to keep with it in and do it. Yeah, and, uh, we weren't really expecting that one, uh, but things got close. They would say they made some pretty good plays. Uh, I guess tiredness kind of pl played a part in that. But I think uh, we came together at the end and really held out. And you, what, what got, the third quarter is kind of when they were able to kind of get back into things. What changed in that quarter that uh, saw y'all's production go down a little bit and theirs go up? Um, I don't really know. Uh, basketball is a game of runs. So we knew it was coming. Uh, I would say probably Gabby hitting some tough shots. Uh, we, I think we contested them well, but the ball just went in for them. And I would say probably offensive rebounds, uh, some of the balls we couldn't get a hand on. So yeah. Well, with, with your uh, contribution and, and Sears as well, was the I know it's for a lot of times the goal is to get the ball in, into the blow post and let y'all do your work. How much of that was? The game plan against this team, and how much did that do you think played into your success tonight? Uh, I think the, the that kind of was the game plan, but it was also trying to get our guards involved uh, because we knew that they were probably going to start double teaming. But I think we really tried to get them in foul trouble, and I think we did a good job of that. And were you guys expecting the physicality of the game, or did that kind of take you guys by surprise? Yes, I was expecting it. They said that they were going to be physical. And I kind of know a couple of them on the team, so I knew how they were going to come out and play against me. And I would say it was like that last year. And UGH really is a physical team, and they try to deny the ball sometimes. So we knew coming in what it was going to be like. Aliyah, kind of same thing for you. You guys expecting that level of physicality and, and not wanting to come out of surprise? I think we definitely expect it. Like she said, they're a really aggressive team defensively, and it's the SEC. But I think they came a little bit more aggressive than we what we expected. We didn't get a few of the calls we probably should have, but we stayed attacking at, attacking them and staying aggressive as well. So I, luckily we came up with the win. Ellie, I know in some of the other games y'all have had recently, they've really sunk into the paint and made it difficult to get it into the post players. When you, you're having some success getting it down there, does that make the game plan flow a little bit easier and just make for a little bit of a um, easier offensive game plan? Uh, definitely. We have a really skilled four and five play, and they're learning how to play together really well also, so it kind of makes it easier. But once we get it in there, we know we can get some action going. And once they see that we're going to keep beating them on the inside, it helps us guards on the outside be able to uh, make more plays because they're collapsing. You had four blocks in the game before we You know, honestly, I don't know. Three, that's her career high. Okay. Hey. What does it mean for you to continue the double double streak that you, you're on as well? I pay attention, but I really don't. Uh, it would be nice to continue it, but I just think that it shows consistency, and I'm really trying hard to be consistent this season. So I'm really happy that it's staying like that. And for what does this night mean? You talked yesterday about. Have, enjoying having success against the home state team plus the double double. What does this night mean for you? It feels great. I like being UGA. Uh, especially, it's also good to see my friends on the other team. And I think it's uh, really special because we all play together. And I like seeing them succeed as well, even though I do like beating them. It's nice to know that they're all doing something great. That add, add, add a little added motivation when you're scoring output tonight? Oh, yeah, because now when I see them when we go back home, we can talk. <laughs> we, we can. We we kind of have little fun arguments, and we'll say like, "Oh, we wish you good luck on the season, but not too much good luck because when we play y'all, we're gonna win." So it's nice to have an upper hand on them when I go back home. You guys got LSU on Sunday. I know last time you guys played here it didn't uh, didn't end how you want. We have to do between now and then, kind of get revenge and, and get things right on Sunday. Uh, I just think it's all mental. Yeah, definitely a mental approach. We'll get after it these next two days, three days, just prepare for what we know is coming and hopefully get the uh, game on the road. It'll be a big win. What did it mean for y'all to do the moment of silence for, for Kobe and his daughter and those victims and have the uh, flowers? How, how soon did y'all know y'all were going to do that and what did it mean for y'all to be able to do that before the game? Um, you know, obviously Kobe was a, a legend and he affected the game. He affected the world on and off the court. So just being able to honor them tonight and give them that moment uh, was just something small and special we could do. Uh, we all definitely felt that, I guess, like just like the world did. So just being able to honor them was a special moment for all of us. It was touching. Uh, I liked how I like how we did it. We did know in advance that like it was going to happen. They told us. So I'm I credit our school for allowing us to give 
them their special moment.